Sometimes the heathens take it slow Wait for them to ask you who you know What's up everyone? Today I'm, uh, I was assigned a school project and I thought that I could share it with you, show you what I'm going to do. And yeah, if you have uh, something like this in assignment, this might be a good idea for you. So, um, yes, the school project was, there's this book that we're reading called City of Ember. And, uh, well, they have limited supplies and resources, so you have to make, um, we have to make something that they could recycle. So, I came up with this pretty cool idea. Um, I did. I got the idea from myself, but I was kind of sh- I was kind of guided just a little bit um, by this other video, which I will link in the description. I uh, give them credits. So, uh, pretty much all you're gonna need for this is some. Um, don't look at the logo. Two straws. Uh, me and my friend, we, I mean, a couple of our friends, actually, we have a YouTube channel, and it got copyright struck. So, copyright struck. So, yeah, so, I'm not exactly happy about that. So, yeah, and I'll show you what else you need. Okay, so I just went and got the other two stuff. You need, uh, some tape. I couldn't find any duct tape, so I got some magnetic tape. Some scissors. A paper towel, a cotton ball, and a no logo, a no logo uh, jar. I will be removing that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be making a vacuum. Sorry for the cringe. Yes, I'm gonna be making a vacuum. Okay, so um, I went and peeled off the label, and it didn't go so well. So my thought was. Well, there's a reference in the book to where they take off labels of fruits and vegetables off their cans and they put it on the walls. Took this off a can of corn. It fits perfectly right here. So why not have a vacuum that says it's a can of uh, sweet, uh, sweet golden corn? Good idea, huh? Okay, so now I have to cut two holes in this top to where these two straws will fit in there. Let's do that real quick off camera. Okay, so I have drilled two, or not drilled, cut two holes in here. I kind of cut this little edge off um, just because. And, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, um, yeah, so, so I can get fit it through. And then I, I put them down about the same equal length. And then this one is the one that you're going to be, um, is the vacuum. It's going to, so, um, you kind of cut it about halfway with the other one. And then leave this one alone, and I just tape that, and then I'll show you what you do next. Okay, so the next step is to get a cloth, and um, you're gonna wanna tape it around this bottom part, um, secure it in place, and everything, so that when you are breathing in the vacuum, chemicals and stuff doesn't get in your mouth. There's no chemicals. The stuff that you're vacuuming does not get in your mouth, because this is like mouth suction powered and it's still good so let's make sure this works entirely yep uh, I can feel it coming out or coming in whatever you want to say okay uh, so now we just take this there and we get to do the fun part the test and then after the test, we can get this on, and it'll be finished product. Product. So I cleaned up everything except our thing that we made, our corn label. 
um, and our tape. I should have got the scissors be right back. Okay, I got our scissors. Okay. And also, I got some red pepper because I can't find any salt. Where we keep our salt. Okay. So, how we're going to do this is I'm going to sprinkle some red pepper onto the table. I'm going to bend this over and I'm going to see if it'll vacuum. Okay, that's a fail, so we're going to have to try something different. Okay, so with our jar, I took off our little thing because I think that was interfering. No, I'm not getting it in the bottom. I tried this out earlier and it worked. Wonder what's interfering. I'm gonna move this thing closer. It's working. That's actually pretty cool. I'm getting some of it stuck in the tube. That's okay. Whew. Okay, I am getting a little bit of red pepper in my mouth, which is not fun. But, you know, I'm going to try something different now. Okay, so that other thing I want to try did not work out. But, if you put your hand like this up against the tube, to where you're holding it in your hand, and you have your mouth up against it, and you get this over, it still works 100%, and you don't get any red pepper in your mouth. Let's see how much we vacuumed up. There is how much we vacuumed up, which is actually... Quite a lot, that's what left. I had a, quite a big pile earlier, so yeah, I'd say it works. Okay, so here's my finished product, and it does look a little tacky, but it's fine. And uh, I will clean up my red pepper haul in just a few minutes after this video is over. My editor is going to be really mad at me. Uh, and yes, yeah, so I thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.